Hello and welcome to our session, Beyond Working as Usual, Transformation into Modern Workplace. We know this is an important and timely subject for many of you. My name is Bob Gamiel, AVP and co-founder of AT&T Consulting. We provide professional services to accelerate your modern workplace transformation. And I'd like to welcome my distinguished colleague, Phil Granger. Phil is a principal architect in our modern workplace practice and brings over 30 years of field experience deploying collaboration solutions. Phil, thanks so much for presenting with me today. It's great to be here, Bob. Thanks for the invitation. Super. So I think you all know the pandemic was a major accelerator for remote and hybrid work. What we now call the new normal includes a much sharper focus on the employee experience and how to drive both productivity and innovation. Businesses that can meet the needs of their employees with a rich set of collaboration solutions will gain competitive advantage. During this session, Phil and I will touch on some of the unique assets we have to support your modern workplace needs and share five important things to keep in mind when migrating from your legacy systems to Microsoft Teams phone system. First, at AT&T, we have a unique global capability called AT&T Cloud Voice for Microsoft Teams. Starting with your enterprise license of Microsoft Teams, we add direct routing or operator connect capability, which enables calling anywhere with global PSTN access using managed cloud SBCs and global SIP trunking with Microsoft Teams peering. We then can address your compliance needs with E911 solutions, high availability, and specialized security for government deployments. And finally, all of that can be wrapped with our global professional services capability from AT&T Consulting to accelerate your team's adoption, design, deployment, and management lifecycle. At the onset, I mentioned how today we would share some experiences and lessons learned from large strategic and global teams transformations. Phil, for customers beginning their team's journey, where do they start? What's the most important lesson you've learned from the field? Thanks, Bob. In our view, is making sure the strategy that organizations are thinking about aligns with what their business needs. This includes capturing requirements early in the process and taking a critical look at everything from a global perspective. Because as we know, there are geographies and industries with unique requirements out there. As a consultant, I'm speaking to customers every day about the voice and collaboration strategy. It's pretty clear most of them want to get off the merry-go-round of the PBX upgrade every five years. They already understand that cloud-based systems have matured to the point where they're superior to premise-based UC, and they want their collaboration platform to deliver more features quickly, require less time to implement, and less effort to manage. Based on the conversations that we are having, I think this boils down to a few key observations. Customers want to validate they are moving in the right direction. They want an unbiased view of where they are, what they might do to modernize their infrastructure, or even if that's needed. Businesses want their staff to be able to work anywhere using a wide variety of devices, in essence, what is most comfortable for them. And they've been able to seamlessly switch between the office, wherever they are working at any point in time. They want their voice system to be an evolving platform without the need for additional hardware investment, where the life cycle is managed, where new features are added that are consistent with their evolving business. Organizations want to see if they can save money reduce capital expenditure, reduce the number of physical devices, and minimize spend on different vendor licenses. Increasing, we're seeing customers wanting to move to a complete OPEX model, including the infrastructure, the devices, and the services. Our customers want to give their employees the best experience via a single platform. It helps enable a clear path to adoption, has a simpler support model, and has less complexity. Another key ask is that the platform offers a continuous cycle of improvement, which in turn allows business to drive maximum value from their investment. What we see overall is business want and need to grow their productivity and the modern workplace transformation is a key pillar to making that happen. 
but there's a balance to be struck here. Some of these priorities don't necessarily coexist together very easily. And a key part of our jobs to help customers plot a path through their transformation that aligns back to their original strategy. at and maintains a close watch over changing regulatory conditions at both the regional and country level so that we can quickly adapt and expand our service footprint when we're able. We've got a deep understanding of where SIP can be centralised, where it needs to be provided locally and can advise businesses accordingly. Consulting has direct experience in delivering Teams Cloud Voice in over 90 countries worldwide. We have the expertise to help customers navigate transformations in complex environments such as the Middle East and India. We work across all sectors, including finance, healthcare, manufacturing, government, and we aim to provide practical guidance based on real world exposure to the challenges we see regularly across the globe. In some countries, there is a strict regulatory environment for telephony. India and Indonesia are perhaps amongst the most well-known, and it can, these can be complex places to deliver PSDN services. Cloud voice, when coupled with location-based routing and media optimization, allows customers to address these challenges. Our consultants have a thorough understanding of the regulatory framework and have helped our customers plan and complete successful voice transformations there, particularly in the financial and customer service sectors. ATT t have also implemented geo-redundant nodes for Microsoft Teams direct routing in America, Europe, and the Asia Pacific regions, which we've paired with our global SIP services. Alongside this, we've built an ecosystem of offerings through partnerships with leading technology providers to ensure we can deliver the best solution for each business we work with, delivering such features as compliance recording, cloud fax, managed SBCs and analog terminal adapters with bring your own SIP where needed. Some aspects of your environment will require careful consideration when thinking about moving telephony either completely or partially to Teams. Customers are often initially interested in mapping what they have straight to a matching Teams feature. We prefer that you think about how you want to use your telephony in the future rather than how you've always done it. Analyze your use cases, build your scenarios, and implement the features you need. It's also a good time to think about device rationalization. Does everybody still need a physical phone? Because we're typically seeing reductions in the 60 to 90% range, depending on sector. It's pretty rare to be able to carry out a cutover migration. So we need to think about coexistence between platforms, whether this is planning for long-term hybrid, providing choice to end users, or simply acknowledging that it might take time to fully migrate everybody. So when you start thinking about your transformation, it's pretty likely there will be dependencies such as analog and SIP phones, DECT, paging, intercom, fax, and other line of business applications that integrate with your current PBX. And these are typically the items where people wonder, how do I fit them into the cloud PBX world? A large part of the work we do is to help solve these problems in a practical and straightforward manner. Whether it's by an SBC integration, utilizing the Teams SIP gateway, or just simple app replacement. And while porting telephone numbers isn't unique because nearly everybody has to do it, there are often difficulties as carriers often utilize quite different methods. As you might expect, at t has strong expertise in this area, and we excel at smoothing out the problems this activity brings. Hey, Phil, uh, a number of our customers have needs for high availability voice. So what can you share about the design considerations to achieve voice survivability? A good question, Bob, and it's a regular topic for discussion. Well, transitioning to the cloud requires a change in thinking, and customers generally need to consider other factors uh, than they did previously. Teams phone systems got an SLA of 99.99%, but what about the other components? such as the network, the SBC infrastructure, resilience of your PSDN, and where your internet breakout resides. We guide customers through the choice in front of them, whether it be thinking about SD1, whether about thinking about 4G or 5G failover, whether it's implementing a highly available SBC core, or discussing the value of a survivable branch appliance for local offices in your environment. 
there are always some unique challenges. For example, in the US, the FCC requires organizations to meet key regulations such as Carey's Law, Section 506 of the Rear Balm Act, and individual state laws pertaining to 911. Microsoft had delivered a rich set of features via Teams dynamic emergency calling specifically for this scenario. However, to be compliant, that needs to be planned, configured and tested before you move any users in the US. My last example, to meet the evolving requirements of designated US federal agencies and the defense and the aerospace industry, Microsoft have developed their global community cloud high environment. In support of this, at t has specifically engineered our Cloud Voice platform to meet NIST and FedRAMP requirements. Our team understands the differences, both large and small, between GCCH and the commercial cloud offerings. So we can offer critical advice on how to deliver Teams phone system and audio conferencing to these organizations effectively. Voice transformations in most businesses are uncommon. So when they need to happen, organizations can struggle to find time and resources with the right skill set to undertake this kind of project. Project managers and architects need to think flexibly when developing the plan to move to phone system and approach the transformation with a clear set of objectives. Build a plan that encapsulates both the critical dependencies and ancillary services, such as contact center, app integration, and make sure you avoid scope creep. Be realistic about what you're trying to achieve. Other teams, such as InfoSec, Identity and Access Management, Enterprise Architecture, Operations and Support should be onboarded at the very outset because it will save time in the long run. Do you have a solid grasp of your own setup? Do you understand your own infrastructure? Have you started the discovery process for sites and users? Approach migration by thinking about users before sites. Try to avoid an implementation schedule that is built around circuit provisioning times and your number porting, as opposed to user and site readiness. Putting a fantastic solution together that meets everybody's needs is really only half the story. Successful projects are about preparing both your end users and your ops teams to be able to support phone system once it's gone live. So we need to have technical readiness, user adoption, delivered at the same time as the platform. These activities go hand in hand. Plan, pilot, and deliver them together. Focus on your client experience, on user adoption, and providing clear communication to end users. Finally, think about resource availability or expertise issues. Whether that's in the core project team or other such areas as networking, identity management, or on-site support. Work on knowledge transfer and she was staff are equipped with how-to and support articles. There are many moving parts from a support perspective. Ensure the process is documented, and where the handoffs occur, both internally and to external vendors such as Microsoft and at and Thank you for that, Phil. You know, I took note that you made a focus on the non-technological aspects of a successful team's deployment, the people, the staffing, the expertise, the program, and the communications. Really great content. I wanted to round out Phil's list with an adjacent and also very important area, the network. As the modern workplace evolves, we need the network to evolve with it. At a tactical level, this means making sure you have the right capacity, availability, and latency characteristics to support real-time voice, video, and collaboration. But the demands of the modern workplace create a unique opportunity to consider more strategic priorities. For example, is your network cloud ready and able to securely connect not just to the workloads for collaboration, but to all of your cloud providers and applications across your business portfolio? A next generation network delivers secure hybrid and multi-cloud application services and is adaptive, resilient, and can scale over time. at t Consulting is helping customers today with their network strategy and transformation services in conjunction with their voice and collaboration needs we're discussing in this session. For example, leveraging SD-WAN for branch connectivity, zero trust network access as a VPN replacement and for mobile connectivity, and cloud-based security solutions such as firewall as a service, 
secure web gateway, and cloud access security broker technologies. These capabilities provide more dynamic traffic management and consistent policy enforcement on a global scale. So as your modern workplace and business changes, the network can evolve with it. At the onset, Phil mentioned the importance of capturing business outcomes and requirements. One of the growing requirements we hear from our customers is how do they expand the traditional enterprise perimeter and allow employees to collaborate not just with each other, but with partners, contractors, and other third parties seamlessly. at t Consulting is helping our customers achieve this through next generation network security, where the network is more application aware and access controls are determined by user identities and roles and less by legacy mechanisms such as IP network segmentation or static firewall rule sets. So in a way, the evolution of the modern workplace is really helping to drive the need for a strategic rethinking and re-architecture of secure cloud networking. Well, we've come to the end of the session and hopefully we've demonstrated today our understanding of many considerations in your modern workplace evolution. And with that, the decision points you may have relative to your strategy, design, and deployment. But wherever you are in that journey, AT&T Consulting is here to help you with a unique combination of global professional services. For over 20 years, AT&T Consulting has helped fuel our customers' digital transformation. Our expertise shown here spans four key disciplines, including network and cloud, 5G and IoT, cybersecurity, and voice transformation, including contact center cloud transformation, as well as the collaboration services we discussed today. We deliver these services wherever you need us, starting with advisory engagements, such as strategic workshops, all the way through integration, deployment, governance, and operational transition. Our mission is to help advance your business outcomes and to share our expertise and innovation to make your business more agile and competitive in the market. So I'd like to wrap by saying thank you to Phil so much, Phil, for your great collaboration and rich contributions today. Your experience is invaluable. And for all of you in our audience, we appreciate your time and engagement in this session. Today, we could only share a fraction of our capabilities. And so if you'd like to learn more about how at t can accelerate your team's transformation or to speak with a specialist, you can contact us in any of the ways shown here. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.